What if the universe, as vast as it already seems, is far beyond anything we can ever imagine? Could the James Webb Space Telescope finally uncover its edge or prove that it has none? Neil deGrasse Tyson once said, the universe is not only bigger than we imagine, it's bigger than we can imagine. This profound observation fuels humanity's insatiable curiosity about the cosmos. For centuries, we've pushed boundaries, first mapping our planet, then our solar system, and now venturing to the farthest reaches of the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, humanity's most advanced eye in the sky, is now challenging our understanding of the cosmos. Has it finally discovered the edge of the observable universe? Or is the idea of an edge just another limitation of our own minds? Let's unravel the truth. Since ancient times, humans have wondered about the size and shape of the universe. In the past, the edge was believed to lie somewhere beyond the horizon. Today, we turn powerful telescopes like the JWST toward the heavens to seek answers. Our current view stretches about 46.5 billion light years in every direction, encompassing a universe with a total diameter of 93 billion light years. Yet even within this vast expanse, no true boundary has been found. The JWST was designed to peer into the so-called dark ages of the cosmos, a time shortly after the Big Bang, when the first stars and galaxies began to form. However, its findings have stunned scientists. Instead of discovering young, primitive galaxies, it captured images of mature, fully formed galaxies that, by current theories, shouldn't exist in the early universe. Even more perplexing, these galaxies, with redshifts greater than 10, reveal a universe that was already brimming with complexity when it was just 2% of its current age. Adding to the mystery, JWST uncovered a colossal cluster of galaxies from a time when such structures were believed impossible. Galaxy clusters containing millions of galaxies were thought to form much later in the universe's timeline. But here they are, challenging our models and forcing astronomers to reconsider everything they thought they knew. Yet the question of a spatial edge remains elusive. Imagine standing in a pitch black concert hall, armed only with a flashlight. You can see small sections of the room, but not the walls or boundaries. Similarly, the JWST allows us to peer deep into the past, capturing light that has traveled billions of years. But as the universe continues to expand, its walls may always remain just out of reach. And then there's the paradox of light and time. When we observe distant galaxies, we see them as they were billions of years ago, not as they are today. This temporal disconnect means that even if we could locate an edge, it might no longer exist in the same form. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has revolutionized our understanding of the universe, and among its most astonishing revelations are the discoveries of exoplanets, active galactic nuclei, AGN, and massive quasars, phenomena that challenge the very foundation of our cosmological theories. One of the most extraordinary findings is a young galaxy, just 570 million years after the Big Bang, that hosts a quasar powered by a supermassive black hole with a mass 10 times greater than our sun. This raises profound questions. How could such colossal structures form so quickly in a universe still in its formative stages? Quasars are among the most luminous objects in the universe, emitting light that outshines entire galaxies. They are powered by supermassive black holes at the centers of galaxies, where matter spirals inward, heats up, and releases immense energy in the form of light and radiation. These AGN were previously thought to emerge much later in the timeline of the universe, requiring billions of years for black holes to accumulate the necessary mass to fuel such dazzling displays. The discovery of a quasar so soon after the Big Bang turns this assumption on its head. It implies that black holes and their host galaxies could form and evolve far more rapidly than current models suggest. To understand the magnitude of this discovery, it's crucial to consider the timeline of cosmic evolution. The first 380,000 years after the Big Bang are referred to as the Cosmic Dark Ages, a period before the first stars ignited. Over the next few hundred million years, the first stars and galaxies began to form, marking the epoch of reionization. It was long believed that this period was characterized by small, faint proto-galaxies, collections of nascent stars gradually assembling into more complex structures. 
Yet the JWST has unveiled galaxies and quasars so massive and developed that they defy this narrative. The black hole at the center of this quasar, with a mass 10 times that of our sun, poses a particularly vexing puzzle. Traditional black hole formation theories propose that black holes begin as stellar remnants, formed from the collapse of massive stars, and gradually grow by accreting surrounding matter or merging with other black holes. This process, while efficient over billions of years, struggles to account for the rapid formation of such a massive black hole within just a few hundred million years. It suggests the existence of alternative or accelerated pathways for black hole growth, such as the direct collapse of massive gas clouds or the possibility that primordial black holes formed in the very earliest moments of the universe served as seeds for these cosmic behemoths. This discovery also prompts us to rethink the role of quasars in galaxy evolution. Quasars are not merely cosmic curiosities. They play a critical role in shaping their host galaxies and surrounding environments. The energy released by quasars can drive powerful winds that regulate star formation within their galaxies and influence the distribution of matter on cosmic scales. The presence of a quasar in such a young galaxy suggests that these processes were already in motion during the universe's infancy, potentially reshaping the intergalactic medium and setting the stage for subsequent cosmic development. The JWST's unprecedented sensitivity and resolution make these findings possible. Unlike its predecessors, it can peer into the distant universe with unparalleled clarity, observing light that has traveled for billions of years to reach us. This light, stretched into infrared wavelengths by the expansion of the universe, holds the secrets of the early cosmos. By analyzing the spectrum of this light, scientists can determine the composition, age, and dynamics of distant celestial objects with astonishing precision. Perhaps the lesson here is that we must stop thinking in terms of edges, boundaries, and limitations. The universe, as revealed by the JWST, defies our preconceived notions and compels us to think beyond the finite. As the James Webb Space Telescope continues its mission, it doesn't just show us distant stars and galaxies, it challenges the very way we perceive the cosmos. Maybe the universe has no edge, or maybe the edge is not a boundary, but a gateway to something even more profound. Subscribe to VibeWave and join us as we journey further into the infinite, unraveling the mysteries of existence, one discovery at a time.